I'm gonna be sharing with you in this video how to know when it's time to take a little bit more action in the manifestation process because depending on where you're at in that moment, you might quote unquote need to take more action. And it all depends on a lot of different things that we're gonna be talking about in this video. Because I've noticed that sometimes in my life there's a time and place to be in what more and what some people call more about masculine energy and there's times to be more in the feminine and I'm going to share with you how to honor that depending on your belief system in that moment in this video so that you can manifest what you want in the most effortless way possible and actually bring in what your heart truly actually wants and it's going to allow things to move a lot quicker for you and in a way that just feels most aligned to you personally. So. If you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So the first thing I wanna share with you in terms of how to know when it's time to take action, when in the manifestation process, is what's your belief system in that moment? See, because I believe that each moment is infinite. Like I always say in most of my videos, I believe that each moment calls for something unique. I believe that each moment calls for a completely different thing or state of being or state of consciousness or emotional state. I've noticed that to say this is the way that it is now is a block to experience every single aspect of consciousness and every single aspect of what life has to offer to you. So what's your belief system in that moment? Do you truly believe that in that moment you need to take zero action? Does it feel truly in resonance to not focus on that thing that you want to manifest and just meditate or maybe just to meditate and actually focus on that thing in your mind or maybe to visualize or maybe to go on the beach and go like surfing or something if that's your thing? What is your belief system? Because for me personally, there's times where I believe that it is a very good idea to focus on meditating or doing things that I don't necessarily need to be focusing on the manifestation as much. It all depends on the moment. It all depends on what my resonance field is communicating to me in that moment. So for me, I, I've learned to trust what my resonance field is communicating to me or what my belief systems in that moment is communicating to me. Now, why do I say in that moment in, in, in an exaggerated way. Because here's the thing, I noticed that each moment is infinite. Maybe in one moment, I truly believe that there is zero action necessary. And I've done it before where I've just meditated in my heart, manifested more money, just effortlessly, effortless manifestation. But there was previous moments where I did believe that I had to take action and I honored that belief system, which then led to that moment where I didn't have to take action and then it manifested. So for me to say that zero action necessary to manifest kind of like wouldn't be honoring the quote unquote past, which of course the past is an illusion, but again, depending on where you're at in the linear timeline process of being a human, yes, we're infinite, but we're playing the game of being a human. So for me to not bring up the fact that, oh, I did take a lot of action, it wouldn't necessarily honor the belief system. So it's like, yes, I've manifested money completely effortlessly but I also have done certain actions in the past that then brought me to that moment, which then shifted the situation in a way that I honored that moment. So what's your belief system in that moment? What's your belief system trying to communicate to you? Now, there's times where your belief system might say, it's a good idea to take a little bit of action. Now, I'm not saying that you have to be in like a dense, uh, resistant action unless you want to. If you want to take uh, resistant action, then that's fine. But I believe in effortless aligned action. That's what I believe in. I believe in effortless aligned action where you are totally connected to your heart. You are in the state of consciousness that you want to be in, but you're still honoring your mind as well, depending on your belief systems in that moment. And the more that I honor my belief systems in the moment, the more that things in my life personally start to flow in a much more easeful way. So the second thing I wanna share with you is, would it really be fun to manifest effortlessly? And think about it. If you're in the higher realms, 
are you really gonna have fun just manifesting things effortlessly? Like there's actually, in my experience, I find a lot of joy in bringing my frequency down sometimes. And I don't like to say it in that way because I don't like it, I don't, I don't see it as like bringing my frequency, I, I guess I am bringing my frequency down, but I wanna make sure that I'm communicating in a clear way where I don't make it sound like it's bad because it's not bad. And that's what I'm trying to say, it's fun. Like when I'm in a peak state of consciousness and things are manifesting effortlessly and you know, I'm just like dancing or having fun and I receive all these manifestations by almost doing nothing, so to speak, even though I'm kind of doing something, I'm just focused less on the aspect of taking linear action specifically for a result. Like that's a logical mind. Like we're going in this direction to get something, you know, to get a result versus the quote unquote feminine is like, we're not trying to get anything. We're focused on how we feel, right? Like we don't, we don't care about getting somewhere and getting the result. We're focused on how do we feel in the moment and if we trust our hearts, everything will manifest. And I love that depending on the moment. And so for me, I'm getting to a point where I see that some people can embody who they truly are more by understanding that each moment is infinite. And again, would you really have fun by manifesting effortlessly? Like for me, again, those higher realms are great. I love being like, I, like I love being at those higher states of consciousness. I could even be at a peak state of consciousness for days, even weeks, uh, maybe even months, depending on like the phase in my life. But there's times where it's like, I realized today earlier, I was thinking about it, I'm like, wait, there's actually like, I, I find a lot of enjoyment in the linear process. Like I'm very grateful to be in the process of being a human to go through a linear like storyline, you know, like, 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 would it be, I was thinking like, if I could just manifest everything effortlessly, it's like, okay, then what, then what happens then? So we've manifested everything we wanted and we're here. What happens then? You know, like what happens at that point? Like, wh 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 where, do you, where do you go from there? Imagine you have everything you want now. Where do you go from there? I mean, you just enjoy it and you focus on the feelings. Cool. Maybe if that's what you find enjoyable, don't let me project. I mean, that's what I'm doing is like, I'm sort of like sharing with you my experiences, but don't let me, like if you truly don't resonate with that and what your heart actually wants is purely zero action manifesting, then trust your resonance. Maybe what your soul's mission is aligned to do is to meditate in a cave and manifest that way. But if you're attracted to this content vibrationally, and again, we usually attract people and situations in our life that are reflecting the energy that we're in, there's a really good chance that you're like, like not for sure, but a pretty good chance in my experience that you might be similar to me in some ways, not necessarily hundred percent true, but it's possible where you might find enjoyment in going through that linear process. Like I like, to go through a linear process of manifesting. I find it fun, but I also believe in effortless aligned action. So again, I'm not saying that you have to be in a state of where it feels bad. When I say dense, it doesn't mean that it has to feel bad or, or like negative. I'm like, and I don't even believe in good or bad or negative. I'm just saying like, like it might require of you to like take that next logical step but it depends on what you want. Like it's so infinite. Sometimes I want to take effortless action. I do believe in effortless action, but sometimes I like to be in a little bit more dense action. Like I genuinely want to be in a state of like resistance. It sounds crazy, but it's like, if my frequency gets way too high, it can feel good to ground myself, maybe with some physical exercise or something like that, to be in that quote unquote masculine energy. And it's just understanding when to use which energy based on your resonance field in that moment and how you actually feel. Cause this isn't about like not honoring your feelings or not feeling anything. This is about consciously quote unquote choosing to shift into the energetic state, shift into the thing you have to do or the next logical step, depending on your belief system. And again, where would be the fun? I don't think I have anything else to share. The two main points that I wanted to share with you is literally just like, what's your belief system? And the second point is, would it be fun to manifest? Like that's just like, for me, when I realized that I was like, oh my gosh, I love to go through that linear process. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you in this video is uh, if, you, if you have any resistance towards taking action, just ask yourself, like, would you really have fun Manifest, like imagine this, this is a perfect example that I hear uh, other YouTubers talk about. Imagine if you were playing a video game on God mode, right? 
full god mode. <laughs> like you're playing like a like a sharpshooter, just like like headshot. Like I personally don't play those games as much like at all right now. Sometimes like very rarely like I'll play a video game, but it depends on my residence in the moment, right? But honestly, if you're full god mode, everything happens. There's no difficulty at all. You would get bored of that game quick. The reason why games are fun is because you're not in god mode and you get to experience all the ups and downs of the game. And life is kind of similar. There's a fun in going through the ups and downs, going through the contrasts in life and to go through everything. So the third point I guess I want to share with you is understand that life, we learn life through contrast. So if there was no contrast, then it would almost like it just wouldn't be as fun. So to if consciousness, for example, was only to create, you would think like, God, why, why is life this way? Why, why can't life just be so much more easy? Like, I don't want to face this. Why can't life just be easier where I can just manifest things effortlessly? Why can't it be the case? What if you already did that in a higher dimension and you chose to come to earth to experience that delayed gratification of manifesting things? Maybe you already did that. Maybe in a higher dimension, I believe that you already manifested things effortlessly. You're already doing it. But you, ch I believe that we came down to earth in order to honor what we actually want to manifest, in order to honor that there's a fun in going through that process. So contrast is one of the most beautiful things. I have to record a whole separate video just on the idea of contrast because contrast is where we find fun. So how to know when it's time to take action? Well. Maybe you've been in a very high energy state, effortless manifestation. Maybe, like you, for me, I, like you, maybe you still want to be in effortless manifestation, but maybe you want to take a little bit of action. Like for me, it's about just doing the basic next logical step in that moment, like record the video or call the friend or talk to that person or do whatever it is that I have to do. And that contrast, like I, I'm grateful to have that contrast where sometimes I'm in the higher realms. And it becomes too blissful and too amazing and I gotta you know bring myself down a little bit and be a little bit more dark so to speak which is not a bad thing it's just how you feel it's just it's just what is the resonance telling you and so for me personally I want to conclude this video by saying that the more that I honor my contrast and what actually feels fun in the moment maybe fun fun it's a general term what does that mean it, it could mean anything in the moment depending on what is fun to you fun is just like like when I say fun I think, oh, does that mean I'm partying and dancing? No, fun is contrast. Fun is density. Fun is going through, unfortunately, even trauma. But is it unfortunate? Is it unfortunate? Or is it a blessing in disguise? How do you really know that negative experience is bad? How do you know? What if it's the best thing that ever happened? You think, oh my God, why can't life be so much easier? Why are things so hard? How do you know that you didn't choose to come to earth and this is the best thing that happened to your soul, but you're just labeling it as bad when actually your heart wanted to come down to earth to experience the contrast of living and becoming more of who you actually are. How do you know? And with that being said, let's conclude the video. So if you resonate with that topic, leave a comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are because I would love to hear it. That's all I have for this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. Also, if you want to try my free guided meditation to align with the heart, to accelerate your manifestation, that, that meditation is designed to be a uh, manifestation catalyst, totally free. Check it out if you want in the description box and in the comments of this video and every single video that I post. So if you haven't tried that meditation, check it out. You might actually notice that things shift for you and manifest for you in a much quicker way because of the internal shift that you experience and then reality will reflect that energy if you shift your internal state in terms of that's what I noticed in my experience. So if you want to check out that meditation, click the link that's in the description box of this video or the comments. That's all I have for this video. Enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.